How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today's subject is going to be a little bit more common knowledge than usual. We're going to be talking about the five primary uses for pigmen in Don't Starve. So the number one is food obviously. Now you might recall in the last Don't Starve video that I did, I demonstrated what I consider to be a most exceptional method of farming pigs for their food. So food in general just refers to the ability to convert a particular mob into something that is capable of sustaining your character. In terms of pigmen, it is largely their meat drops because they don't drop alternative foods such as the bunnymen do where they drop carrots. So when we're talking about food and pigmen, we're mostly talking about large meats. Now obviously large meats can be cured on a jerky rack. They can be put into a crock pot for making bacon and eggs or meaty stew. So there are a lot of uses for large meats and once you have a pig farm up and running, it is fairly simple to gather large quantities of food from these pigs at the very minimum cost to your character. Number two is actually manure. So you might be familiar with the beefalo dropping manure, but you might not know that where pigs themselves can process a stack of, for example, light bulbs, which you can easily acquire down the caves uh, almost instantaneously for stacks upon stacks of manure in the game. And you can use this for fertilizing transplanted plants and even to a lesser extent, uh, forced growing things in a garden. Now, obviously, and I want to make this as a caveat here, the gardens are not the most efficient. But if you're growing very specialized seeds that you have cultivated, such as dragon fruit, uh, I think it is perfectly acceptable. The method for obtaining such large quantities of manure from a pig as I hinted to previously, was to simply convert that pig into a were pig using four monster meat and then giving him a pile, a stack of petals or a stack of light bulbs. Those are the two most common. Uh, you can also use vegetables, but once the were pig sees that stack of edible material laying on the ground, it will stop chasing you to pick it up and eat it. And doing so will yield a ratio of one to one. So in other words, if you have one light bulb in the pile, it'll yield one manure. So an exceptional, probably the fastest way of actually gaining manure in the game because you don't have to go running around after beefalo picking them up one at a time. Number three is chopping wood. Now, I know there are alternative methods that are faster than pigmen at chopping down forests. To name a couple of them, we have the Old Bell and we also have Burger, the Fall Giant in both the Reign of Giants single player game as well as Don't Starve Together. But those are very situational and you most likely you're going to be needing wood from time to time throughout the game without having those very unique individual circumstances in place. And the pigmen are exceptionally good at that. You can simply befriend them for like a couple of food to make sure they stick with you throughout the day. And then you can go ahead and target a tree. And as you target a tree, they will also target nearby trees as well as that one, depending upon how many pigs you have. Now, obviously one of the big limiting factors here is actually the fact that pigmen will not chop once it is night out or even evening out. So for the best return value on your investment here, make sure that you actually do this when there is still plenty of daylight out on an average day. So ideally not in the winter or maybe not in the spring either. And it will save you and your axe from performing a few additional swings. Number four is a sanity regeneration. Now you may not be aware of this, but you can befriend a couple or a few pigs and stand next to them as close as possible to regenerate your sanity at a fairly decent clip. There are obviously better ways to regenerate your sanity, but this is simply another tool in your arsenal. This, this is another option for you that depending upon your own individual circumstances, you might find useful. And number five is fighting. Now pigs themselves are not all that great when fighting an opponent for you. So I mostly would only recommend using their fighting ability if you're going to be using them as a distraction. So let's say uh, for whatever reason, there is an incoming hound wave. Obviously, there are much better ways to deal with hounds than using pigs, but you can use them as a distraction, and this applies to other mobs as well. So you can focus on those aggressive mobs individually without having them gang up on you. That is the real advantage here because when you as a friend to pigmen target one of these creatures or one of these creatures target you, you're actually going to send the pigmen after them and then that will distract them quite easy. 
easier in a way than actually going to the beefalo. Now, the beefalo is a noob trap, and you'll see a lot of more advanced players say this constantly. You should learn to fight yourself, and the same applies to pigmen as well. And But in some circumstances, it can be beneficial, I think, to be able to send a pigman after your opponents and use them as a distraction while you focus on soloing those enemies as well. And once again, even if you disagree with players doing this, it's an option. It is another tool in your arsenal of knowledge about Don't Starve that can assist you in situations where things may not be looking all that favorably for you. It gives you options, and that is largely what survival can be about. It is taking advantage of opportunities as you see them. Don't Starve is a world that is randomly generated, and you're not going to be able to follow the same path to success each and every single game. So the ability to be flexible, I think, is paramount in games such as Don't Starve. And that takes care of it. Those are my top five uses for pigmen in Don't don't starve. If I missed out any of them or you have a niche method that I really didn't touch on, feel free to let me know in the comment section as well. I'd be excited to hear alternative and creative methods of using pigmen for your own benefit in the game. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.